There are some irregular verbs that we didn't practice a lot of in Spanish 2. They weren't really on any tests in Spanish 2, so I want to give them their own little segment here. Um, one of those verbs is the verb oír. The verb oír, in the, we did it in the preterite tense, but not so much in the present. So it's to hear, it's a yo-go verb, so the yo form is oigo, I hear. Uh, but then to separate it, when it would have been S, E, S as the ending, to separate it, they put a little Y in it. So oyes would be you hear, oye would be he or she hears. It is an IR verb, so this is going to have the IR ending. Then we're going to use that accent to separate the sounds of the O and the I, so it doesn't say oimos, so it says oimos. And then oyero. Uh, the sonreir, sonreir and reir or reir say they behave the same way. So in the yo form, it is a stem changing verb, so the e changes to an i with an accent. And then we put the yo form, which is an o. So rio, we do that to separate the sounds, just like we did here. We want those to have two separate sounds. So rio. Yes, it changes from an I, an E to an I with an accent, then we have the ending for an IR verb. Sonríe. Sonreímos. Okay, it's an IR verb, it has an IR ending. We're using this accent to separate the sound from those two vowels, just like it is in the infinitive with the accent. And sonríe. Okay, so these two verbs, they didn't get hit a lot in Spanish too, uh, but we do need to know them. And so this is how we conjugate them in the present tense.